Welcome back everyone. Today, we'll react to a TikTok about a woman saying that if you don't want to be her friend, you're fat phobic and an oppressor. I'll also be reacting to other TikToks as usual, so enjoy. We just got your lab work back and um, you might want to sit down for this one. Uh, I have something to share with you. Okay, what is it doc? You have obesity. Excuse me? Are you trying to say that the size of my body is a disease? Precisely. Yes, that's what I'm saying. And what lab values are telling you that I'm now diagnosed with obesity? Well, when I look at your actual numbers here, your hemoglobin A1c, your blood glucose, your total cholesterol, your HDL, your LDL, your blood pressure, all your numbers are within normal range. So you're saying that all my blood levels are normal, but I have a disease based on my BMI? Yes, that's correct. I think you should lose weight and you would be healthier. But if all of my lab values are in normal range, then why do I need to lose weight? Because I think you would be healthier if you lost weight. If a patient in a smaller body had all of their blood levels in normal range, would you tell them to lose weight? No. Well, thanks for giving me a perfect example of weight stigma. This TikTok is just really weird. Let me give you a little bit of backstory. On her page, this woman spreads a lot, and I mean a lot, of misinformation about weight loss and obesity. And this is just a prime example of her point of view. Obesity is considered a disease by itself, yes. And it's because obesity leads to a worse quality of life, a higher risk of diabetes, and some types of cancer, and much more. But putting a lot of strain on your body, which is why obesity is considered a disease. Saying, if I was thin, would you ask me to lose? lose weight is a bad point because being thin is the state our body should be and I'm willing to bet your doctor would have told you to gain weight if you are a little too thin. Blood work is not everything. You're clearly young and thin but other people who are obese or are not like you will take your word for it because it's easy for them. It takes responsibility off their shoulders which will cost some people their lives. You're going to be the one to blame for an obese person losing their life in the future if you keep spreading this dangerous misinformation. I don't know who needs to hit this but this is not a sandwich and anyone that claims that a lettuce wrap is the healthier version of a sandwich or a taco is lying to you why because this is not a sandwich it's a handheld salad most likely a really soggy one at that and whilst we're here please stop kidding yourselves into thinking that this tastes better than a real sandwich or a real taco it doesn't trust me i would know i kidded myself into thinking that for decades. Just do yourself a favor and eat the carbs, eat the sandwich, eat the tacos. Well, it's not technically a sandwich. I think you really need to understand this one fact. Just because you don't like something doesn't mean everyone else hates it too. I know it's crazy, but it really seems to be a really common thing with the fat acceptance people. From calling black coffee fat phobic to saying it's fat phobic to want a smaller piece of cake, it all seems like a coping mechanism to me. If someone doesn't want to eat more carbs because it makes them feel better or because they are trying to go on a lower carb diet, it's okay. Don't just eat carbs because why? Why not? If you have a goal in mind, go all in for it. People forget that fast food and high fats and sugar foods should be a treat. Something you eat once in a while and not on a daily basis. And in a world with so much amazing food and options, we need to know when to say stop. And I think sticking to your goals and not eating bread if you want to cut on carbs is a really good thing. And while a lettuce bun might not be for everyone, some people do actually like it. And again, just because you don't like something doesn't mean everyone doesn't. Simply being thin in of itself is not fat phobic, but this comment sure as hell is. The assumption that fat automatically equals unhealthy is fat phobic. And I've said that, I think, maybe a million times. Let's put our reading glasses on, you guys, and our listening ears. Let's turn them all the way up because... It's the same stuff I've been saying for like a month. How is this comment fat phobic? Basically, all this person has said is that just because they don't want to be fat and they want to live a healthy lifestyle doesn't make them fat phobic. That's literally it. Fat does automatically equal unhealthy. Like I said countless times. That person's statement is super reasonable. I've seen your videos and you glorify obesity a lot while gaslighting others. You even admitted to hating skinny people more than once. I hate skinny people. There, I said it again. 
I really think you should look into getting some professional help. You're not only damaging your life, but you're damaging the lives of countless others who will look up to you. This is already an exceeding problem with people like Tess Holiday glorifying obesity on magazine covers, such as the one I talked about in my very first video. This is dangerous and will cost people their lives. And all because you hate skinny people for doing something you were unable to. First of all, my comment was kind of a half joke. I have four thin friends, and if you would like me to name all of them, I can. Now, the difference between thin people only wanting to hang out with other thin people and fat people only wanting to hang out with other fat people is that fat people are traumatized and oppressed by thin people. Um, so they do it for safety reasons. Thin people, not wanting to hang out with fat people, only other thin people, um, they are just fat phobic and horrible people most likely. Skinny people are fat people's oppressors. Fat people are not thin people's oppressors. It is a very, very simple concept. There are only so many times you can deal with someone half your size standing in front of you and saying, ugh, I feel so fat and gross. There are only so many times. And it is guaranteed that that will not happen with other fat people. My thin friends are great, they listen to me, they're awesome people, but I will always feel safer and more understood around other fat people. And it doesn't go the other way around, dude. I'm telling you, when she said, I have four thin people and I can name them if you want, I started laughing so hard. This is unreal. This seems like one of those arguments homophobes would use to show they're good people. Like saying, I have a gay best friend. This is such an insane argument to make. It doesn't mean anything. And all it does is show a lot about your personality. There is no difference. If you only want to be around fat people, that's fine by me. But it goes the same way if someone wants to be around thin people. You're not traumatized or oppressed. That's laughable. You have the same rights and opportunities as anyone else. And saying, you do it for safety reasons is truly scary to think about. The way you view thin people as bad people who only want to hurt you is sad. And I'm really sorry to hear how much your view of the world got twisted because of the fact you're obese. And I'm sure that those other TikTokers and Tess Holiday supporting your point of view didn't help. I'd honestly say what you're saying is thin phobic. I'm joking of course, but it seems like you really have hatred for thin people just for simply being thin. Which I can understand to some extent because people do usually hate on others who did something they couldn't but it's just wrong in case no one has ever said this out loud to you it was not okay that your mom put you in weight watchers in elementary school I'd actually like to argue that it is. While maybe putting your kid on Weight Watchers is a little too far, taking action towards getting your kid on a healthy lifestyle is very, very good. Kids are very susceptible to those things, you know? Kids learn from their parents. They can't be blamed for being fat when they're still kids. Almost everything in their lives is completely dependent on their parents. And when the parents introduce an unhealthy lifestyle at home, it will affect them. Sadly, most parents just forget that, but just don't care, which is why why we have so many obese kids. It's the sad truth that it should honestly be considered as child abuse and while putting a kid on Weight Watchers is not the best option, changing their habits while they're still young is an important step towards changing their whole life for the better. Thank you everyone for watching the video. I'm super grateful for all the support. Have a great day guys.